Hey everyone, today we are gonna go over torch infections, which is the group of diseases that cause congenital conditions if the fetus is exposed to them in the uterus. These infections are often pretty confusing, so we'll go over them one by one so you understand them clearly. The acronym TORCH stands for Toxoplasmosis, Other, Rubella, Cytomegalovirus, and Herpes simplex. And today in this video, we're just gonna go over Toxoplasmosis. It's a disease caused by a protozoan parasite named Toxoplasmic gondii. And this is a very common parasite that is often found in cat feces. And that's why this infection is associated with pregnant women changing cat litter boxes. The protozoa can cross the placenta of the pregnant woman and have detrimental effects on the growing fetus. And while the mother who contracts the disease may be asymptomatic, the infant can present with many symptoms that are common among torch infections. So let's go over some of those symptoms. There's baby intrauterine growth retardations, which means poor growth of the fetus while in the mother's womb during pregnancy. Another one is hepatosplenomegaly, which is the enlargement of the liver and spleen. Also common is deafness and chorioretinitis, or inflammation of the choroid and retina of the eye. Other symptoms include hydrocephalus, or the abnormal accumulation of cerebral spinal fluid in the brain, as well as scattered calcifications in the white matter, basal ganglia, and cortex of the brain. So you can see why it's super important for toxoplasmosis to be screened for with the other torch infections. And when you're taking the mother's health history, definitely be sure to consider if the mother has a cat or will be cleaning cat litter at any point. And to really solidify this information in your brain, be sure to check out our Picmonic on torch screening. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to send us a shout at feedback at And until next time, good luck studying.